Liam, have you been to the cinema this week? Yes, Liam went to the weeks. Liam went to the cinema, and now it's time for his spoiler-free review of the things they saw at the cinema. I went to the cinema, Jack. What did you see, Liam? I saw a few films. So, okay, we should let people know now, right? Uh, we only I'm only allowed to do three films on the podcast, right? Yep. But I saw five films this week. So yep. what what are we going to do? So listeners, our, our lovely listeners, don't miss out on any of the films that I saw. I don't know. I don't care. We're going to do some exclusive YouTube reviews. So two films will be on our YouTube channel exclusively. So if you want to know what I thought of two films that I can't tell yet because we haven't decided what two they'll be, head over to YouTube. Thank you. Details for where you can find us on YouTube at the end of the show. So keep listening. Well done. So, Hacksaw Ridge. You aware of this one? Uh, yes, that's the one with Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield. Don't sh- he don't want to shoot no guns because he doesn't like bullets. He's afraid of bullets, so he nope. refuses to shoot the gun. No, nope. he, he, he nope. casts Cure Light Wounds on all the people. No, he's, he's, a, he's a conscientious objector. That's less cool than what I was saying. Yep. Uh, so basically, because of religious reasons, he doesn't like believe in violence and stuff, but he still wants to like support his country in World War Two. So he wants to be like a field medic, but he yep. refuses to to hold a gun. So this is um, Mel Gibson's like return to directing after ten years when he did uh, Apocalypto. Oh, okay. And the plot is basically split into two halves. The first half you have Andrew Garfield's character. He meets a girl. Like you see a bit of his childhood, and you kind of. Uh, throughout the film, through flashbacks, you see why he has this objection to guns. Okay. And the first half is very twee, very like period setting, almost like it's kind of slow to be honest. Like it's it's still engaging, but it 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 just it seems like a, a little bit odd. It, you're not really too sure where they're going with it. Yeah. Then it kind of builds up, and and um, he goes off to like boot camp, and you get. Now I I'll admit I scoffed when I saw this guy appear in the trailer. But you have Vince Vaughn as like the drill sergeant. Oh, I think yeah, I think I saw that in the trailer. And yeah, like, Jesus, Vince Vaughn. It's a it's a real odd casting choice, but I have to admit, like, I kind of think it worked. Like, I did like him in this film. Oh, um, fair enough. He he does his best, um, like Ali Ermy impression, who's in Full Metal Jacket. They like basically rip off the the famous scene from Full Metal Jacket where he's like going through yeah. and chewing out all of this. Yeah. Um, then the second half of the film kind of kicks off, and it is just like. This incredibly brutal war film, like blood, guts, no no punches pulled. It's like it's it's a real, especially after like the really twee first half, is a very yeah, like, yeah. stark difference. And it, it's it's good. I really enjoyed it. There are like a couple of niggling issues, like um, so this sort of scenario, if you will, that they're at this hacksaw ridge that they're trying to like climb up. Uh, the top of it's all kind of um, taken over by the Japanese. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, this is based on a true story. Yes, so, I did see that. Yeah. Is it? Ha- do we know how true to the story it is? Because based on a true story means, like, shit all. Um, it just means there was a place called Hagsaw Ridge and there was probably a guy who didn't want to shoot a gun. Okay. I don't know if this is... I don't... I, I don't... I think that's spoilers. Oh, Okay. Put it this way. How can it be, how can it be spoilers? <laughs> okay. Um, For real life. So before the credits, yeah, you get to see the things that basically answer your question of how oh, okay. how true to real life do we know this is. Okay, that's, that's alright. And it's quite interesting how certain elements from that have been weaved into the film. So it's not so, properly true to it then, the fact that you're saying they weave it into the film. Yeah, like it's it's not like, obviously it's not cut and like paste like 100% this is a true story and this is what happened. Yeah, but yeah. But I think like the core story is true enough. Um, the the issue is obviously, so because it is based off, off, of, off of a person's account, the first thing to bear in mind is that that can never be 100% accurate, this is what actually happened, because it's always filtered through someone, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next thing is, and you get it, obviously... The, this is an account of an American soldier. So the way that the Japanese are portrayed is just like uniformly bad. Oh, okay, got you. I mean, they weren't. But I mean, great you kind of expect the World that, War right? II time, but yeah, and you know, coming from that perspective, it's kind of to be expected. Yeah. Um, the only other issue I had is at times it, it feels like Mel Gibson is kind of so in love with the violence and the effects and everything that a little bit too much focus is spent on. Like, look what we can do. Look at this carnage that we can put on screen. 
So it uh, kind okay. of the film feels like it loses focus. That like there's times where I was literally like, I haven't seen Andrew Garfield's character in what feels like ten minutes. Like, oh, gee, what right. is he doing right now? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. So it definitely feels like it loses focus. However, it ended, and both me and Kat came out, and we were both very impressed. Uh, you know what I'm like. I'm a bit stingy with my ratings, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, yeah. Four out of five, Jack. Four out of five. Oh, that's quite high. For me, that's very high. Yeah, for your description, a, I would have expected really, lesser. Yeah, it was a, a really good experience. Like, So, obviously, I focused a little bit on like my, my niggles and complaints, but the overall film itself was really solid. Oh, fair enough. Uh, Andrew Garfield's great. Uh, like all yeah, of well, the actors and, and cast are really good. He's doing that other film as well, isn't he? Where he's sort of playing, he's playing a Christian sort of dude. Yeah, um, is that Martin Scorsese's Silence? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Um, no, no, no. I would like to. I, it kind of it was in cinemas for like two weeks, and it's like a I want to say two hour forty film, so I just didn't find the time to go and see it. That's fair enough. But you know, I'm sure those people that went and saw like 150 films, they probably saw it like three. They times. probably did, Liam. They, I mean, quite honestly, they should have got the award. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe they should have a podcast and they could talk about all the films they've seen and then maybe doing that would give them less time to go and see films. 